do tons of transports here. And um, the one piece that was kind of always missing was, even though we have great transport nurses that can give us uh, the description of the patient, was us actually being able to see them. So that's where it came from, it's just kind of that one piece that we thought was always missing was the doctors or the MCOs being able to actually see those patients. The outside emergency rooms do a great job of trying to stabilize pediatric patients, but because it's a specialized population in children, um, they're not often able to, to have as much success as we would here at a freestanding children's hospital. So they do everything that they can, and then they call our transport team to come and help provide essentially a mobile intensive care unit. And some of our patients are very sick, some of them are not so sick, but as Dr. Patel pointed out, that's kind of the key piece of information that's missing. Our nurses are really well trained. They've been doing transport for a long time. They can give us all the information we want, vital signs, x-rays, lab studies. They can tell us what they think the patient looks like. Mm -hmm. But um, sometimes it just comes down to a feel for, tell me more, is the kid sick? Do they look sick? What do you think they look like? Mm -hmm. And sometimes, despite all their training, they just can't put that into words mm -hmm. about how sick the patient may or may not be. And being able to see the patient through the, through the iPad has just been um, invaluable to, to give us that last piece of information, almost as if we could be there and lay hands on the patient ourselves. Because it is so portable and feasible to take around with you that you don't have this big piece of equipment that you have to be sitting in front of in order to um, be able to you know, use it for a telemedicine. We picked FaceTime because we looked into um, the compliance with patient privacy, the HIPAA laws, mm -hmm. and even though we're not recording anything and it's a live, real-time stream, we wanted to make sure that the data was encrypted. And it's been studied and proven that Apple's product is encrypted on both ends of the video stream. One of the other benefits, though, to FaceTime is in, um, in addition to being so accessible to everyone, mm -hmm. it's pretty durable, the equipment's pretty sturdy, and it's so inexpensive. So our grant through the Nemours Fund for Children's Health was fairly meager, it was $2,000, um, but it purchased three iPads for us. Comparable equipment um, from industry would be thousands of dollars more, and bigger, bulkier, require IT support that ours, our IT team here has been great, but the iPads don't really require that much support. They're very easy to use and they're kind of intuitive. Essentially what we did is when we were talking to the transport nurses, we, this is exactly what we would see. And then when we were ready to see the patient, we would just flip the camera around. Um, we can do that. Sorry, there you go. If we flip the camera, um, and then it's, you know, pointed towards the patient, and we, you know, they were able to kind of move it around and show us exactly what we needed to see. And then when we were ready to talk to transport patient, uh, nurse again, just flip the camera back around.